Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Rohan Khandelwal. I am the principal consultant, breast cancer surgeon at CK Birla Hospital, Gurgaon. In today's video, I'll be talking about greenish nipple discharge. Now, this is a problem where ladies come to me around 30 to 40 years of age and they come to me with this problem that they're getting this foul smelling greenish or bluish discharge which is staining their undergarments. So what exactly is the cause of this greenish nipple discharge and how do we go about managing these patients is what I'm going to discuss in this video. So as I've told you this condition is common in ladies between 30 to 40 years of age and in those ladies where the periods are about to stop so the perimenopausal age group before menopause. Also this condition is commonly seen in those ladies who smoke. So they can come with discharge coming from multiple ducts and it can either be on a single side or both sides and this discharge is foul smelling and greenish or bluish in nature. So whenever a lady of this age comes to us, we always have to rule out cancer. So we'll take a history, we'll do the examination, we'll send the patient for an imaging test. Depending on the age, the imaging test can either be an ultrasound or a mammography. In our previous videos, we've covered how to determine whether you're a candidate for ultrasound or mammography. So I would request you to watch those videos as well. So once your scan has been done, we'll get to know whether the discharge is due to some lump present there or the most common cause of this problem that is due to dilated ducts. You know that there are 15 to 20 ducts in the breast and some of these ducts can sometimes become dilated and inflamed. This condition is known as duct ectasia and this can pour out greenish nipple discharge. So if you are suffering from duct ectasia, initially we will manage the condition using antibiotics and medicines. And majority of the patients, almost 90% of the patients respond to this treatment. But if the patient is not responding, if the discharge is continuing and if the pain is continuing, then in the, the rest 10%, we might need to resort to surgery where we end up removing all the ducts of the breast that is a cone excision of all the ducts which we do but this is only done after we've given an adequate trial of conservative management again i would like to end by saying that if you notice any kind of discharge don't ignore that it could be cancer as well so please do visit your doctor and get it evaluated properly